Now, continuing on the theme of maritime education, ladies and gentlemen, up next, it's our privilege to hear from Professor Prasad Setunga, who is the Director General of the National Institute of Education. Now, Professor Prasad Setunga, in his speech, will be making a significant announcement that marks a historical landmark for the education system in Sri Lanka. He will be speaking to us today about the incorporation of commercial shipping and maritime science into the school curriculum. I'm sure you all agree, ladies and gentlemen, that this strategic move highlights the importance of education and training in preparing our next generation for careers in the maritime industry. So to now give us more details on this groundbreaking development, let's now welcome on stage Professor Prasad Setunga. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Minister, the other Honorable Dignitaries, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, while congratulate, congratulating uh, Captain Ajit Siris and his team for this uh, memorable uh, day, uh, declaring of the uh, Seafarers Day, uh, let me briefly uh, explain how uh, the NIE, National Institute of Education, is going to incorporate the subject of uh, commercial shipping and maritime science uh, into the curriculum. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's a bit uh, not very good slide. Uh, Explain you, but anyway, I, I'll try my best to uh, explain. The NI is going to, no, not the NI alone, the Ministry of Education and the other stakeholders is uh, preparing to uh, implement new curriculum reforms uh, 2025. Uh, towards this implementation of new curriculum framework, at the moment, just yesterday, the NI has launched piloting program of the new curriculum framework. I want you to understand the mechanism of this incorporation and introducing new curriculum framework. We can't easily implement the curriculum uh, because students are very sensitive in the classroom. Teacher is uh, professional. So the, before implementing the curriculum, we need to pilot the curriculum whether curriculum is student friendly, teacher can manage the learn time. So that's the main objective of this piloting. So why I'm saying is this nowadays, people are confusing about this implementation and uh, piloting of the new curriculum framework. So even at the parliament, it's about to get the full approval of this new uh, policy framework. So we are going to, uh, transform the system to addressing huge criticism for us. Long, long time. The heavy overloaded curriculum, the children are there to add uh, evidences, to showcase evidences. Uh, uh, bulky textbooks, memorization, rote learning, very examination based. So addressing those issues, we are planning to uh, introduce module system rather having textbook system. Module is a theme-based uh, simple theme. You can produce, the students can produce having facilitation of, from the teacher. So nowadays we have this dig digitalized classrooms and the technologies there with the students. So we have decided to uh, introduce this module based system. Yesterday we launched very student friendly activity book for the primary curriculum. So let me uh, introduce this uh, uh, special feature very related to this incorporation of this very practical subject towards this, uh, towards producing employable uh, 
adults, like, you know. Uh, the, uh, the first, I think, uh, the, uh, you can see after completion of the uh, O-level examinations, we will give certification, completion certification for 15 and 16. Uh, currently, we give them fail and, you know, not very positive certification. So after next year, even uh, end of this year, we are planning to issue a certification of completion. We will give this as a transcript, like what they did at the school. And ask, we, will, we are going to invite them to proceed A-level without waiting, awaiting results time. And then after uh, O-levels, you can see we have we are going to introduce two streams, academic and vocational. So th this is the place that we are trying to incorporate this new subject, uh, commercial shipping and maritime science. So I will uh, show you. Uh, our broad uh, learning areas, the language and literacy education, the main po dot point is the second one. I'm not going to read all the dot points. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. Commerce and entrepreneurship education. Information and communication technology. So these are the broad learning areas we have designed the new curriculum framework. Based on this broad learning areas, we are going to introduce number of subjects as further learning areas. So we have in the system all are compulsory. This is really, really rigid system. So we have the list of essential subjects and also we are going to offer further learning areas students can select. So this is the place that we are going to Introduce commercial shipping and maritime science. Uh, this subject, I think, uh, as uh, Captain Ajit Piris pointed out his piece, uh, you know, we can create many supportive industries such as shipbuilding, bunkering, port operations, and logistics. What other students are not well aware about this uh, job category. So while giving this opportunity, to know about this particular subject, definitely they will be able to explore the new opportunities towards this uh, skillful workforce. So that's the main uh, point here. Even uh, the, we are starting from this uh, further learning areas from the grade six, junior secondary level. You can see very new subjects, social service, uh, global study, entrepreneurship, industrial exposure, media studies, and again, senior secondary level also, we are going to uh, incorporate this subject. So, uh, I think I am fully agree about, uh, regarding this uh, Minister Raghavan's uh, comment on uh, Sri Lankans are very capable to talk and uh, attend the meetings. Uh, nine months, uh, the seat of uh, the NIE as a director general from the University of Peradeniya, I felt this problem. I, I would like to add the other thing is the Sri Lankans are allowed to resist life. They don't want to uh, go forward. All the time uh, opposed. So that's the reality of the seat in the Director General's office. I would like to uh, urge your cooperation and understanding about the uh, implementation of curriculum framework. So let the teacher to implement this. Let the teacher educators and educationists start the process. And please observe this entire process, how it you know, the other day of the implementation of reforms, you can't criticize it. We need to observe it, what happened. In Japan, 
they take 10 years time to a proper implementation of curriculum reforms in this country it's a disaster is object you know please understand the education reforms process and give your cooperation so i'm very happy to uh, get this proposal proposal from the uh, cinec team with very evidence based manner we need to open up the education system and the curriculum to produce this uh, workforce thank you very much Thank you very much to Professor Prasad Sethunga for shedding light on the incorporation of commercial shipping and maritime science into the school curriculum.